There we go. So now these silos are going to be feeding two separate forges. That one's already producing a good bit of uh, bit of iron plate. Now I can just run that plate down and connect it up to this line, and then I can have it split there, and then some of it go into this barn and the rest of it go down there, and that will be the only line that goes down that, that, that way. So this one will be responsible for filling this line in its entirety, and then filling the barn after that. We'll see how much of a difference this makes. Sumi! Hello, Alec! I've not watched any of the vids in your YouTube, but hey, at least I don't have to watch the initial grinding. Well, I mean, I think the initial grinding was actually quite quite pleasant. I'll be honest, I, I, I enjoy the organic kind of design that, that crops up as you uh, kind of squeeze things in uh, at the beginning. Uh, let me have a quick look at the mine for a second. How are you doing down there? We've already gone through that one once. Mm, I missed seeing how much it returned. I think we're going to have to sit here for a second because I will forget. Well, actually. Okay, chat. It's a, down to you. I'm now laying the blame squarely on your shoulders. Should I forget to, uh, to address this? It's all your fault if this doesn't go how I want it to. <laughs> Uh, right. Actually, we want that one to switch the other way, because I'm going to be given a priority. Remind me to check. If you don't, you're all terrible people. The chat's fault, not mine. True facts. Let's pop you there. And I think from that point, we just need to bring this along. Or are we one too high? We're one too high. We need to bring it down one more level. Let's pop in a support there, just so it looks right. And then at this point, we can bring it across. There we go. And we can take that down. Dunk. That should do everything we need. Mousy, thank you very much for the 12 months. Mousy Karina, thank you so, so much for the support. <laughs> Sir Alasol, forget it. Not important. Forget what? I don't know. Was I meant to do something? I only have myself to blame, Annie. No, no, everyone knows it's your fault. Blame Annie. 2020. Hashtag. Uh, James, what am I supposed to remember? Uh, something about mining, I think. That's actually up. Donk. Now. Nah. Damn it, really? It's already gone. Okay, they really don't have much. Like crazy don't have much. So I'm, I may have to look into that. We've got a lot of nodes. That might be enough. Alternatively, I could just sink a, a shaft all the way over here and tap into these nodes, but oof. That is getting... getting used up crazy fast. <laughs> gotcha, Alex. Something about mining. Thank you, dude. I can always trust in James to have my back. We, we are absolutely going to sit here and watch because I want to know how much this comes back with because the initial node has several hundred but if the the replenish one has 50 or less then we're going to need to address that but I really do like the the fact that you've got mining shafts now that is so cool right let's have a look almost there now And we have... Come on, come on, come on. Eight. Nine. Dunk. Ten? Well, poop? That does not last long. Okay. That's going to be rough. And yeah, I love the sea levels in the game as well. That is going to be genuinely rough. All right, well, uh, we may want to test how we can do that then. We've almost got enough pickaxes at this one. Wow, nice. Um, all right. We're going to change things up a little bit. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Then we want another pusher right here. 
I would say. Um, actually, let's get rid of these. I do want the pusher there. We're going to have a little silo. So off to the side, right here. Womp. Then we're going to have stone paths. Yeah, we're getting fancy now. Super fans. Much E. Uh, we need to take this up here. And finally, I'm going to have something to do with this little uh, little walkway that I made out there. I think it's going to be grand. How am I going to bring this down? Well, what kind of lines have we got? We've got some interesting lines. I want to bring it down over the forest over here. And we want to bring this all the way across. Okay. Bloody trees. Dwarves. Show these elves what we think about their tree-hugging ways. And then run away because they might eat you. Bloody cannibal elves. Never trust elves. Uh, we'll also take that top tree there. Well, maybe the, the next two, just so that we've got a clear path. There we go. Uh, we're all. If we only got one cart, I shouldn't imagine we're going to need more than this. But uh, also, that tree mm, is a bit bigger than the rest. Get rid of you as well. Womp. Okay. And we'll get a path there. Um, no, we want this to be a little bit higher. Something like that. There we go. That is so much better. We could use stone ramps. In fact, I think we're going to need it. Yeah, you know what? Let's not have wood out here. It's enough that we've gotten rid of the of the trees. Let's go for stone pillars and arches. Some bridges. There we go. Though there's a part of me that feels that that looks flimsy. I'm sure it's not. Dwarven engineering and all that. But let's make it look extra dwarfy and super secure. There we go. Lovely. That looks much more like it could support dwarves' heavy industry. And we're going to want this road to start heading up around here, I would say. I'm going to need to change this up a bit. So let's pop this on, on six for now, because this is what I'm going to be using. I would like stone pillars on four. I would like complete stone blocks on five. There we are. So... For this little bit, we can have... Every other one needs to be a full support, I would say. Because we're going to be a, a dwarven wagon full of pickaxes. It's going to be quite hefty, I would imagine. Uh, we may need another kind of structural block. Do we have anything else? No, we don't. Hmm. Okay, we might need to... Space this out a bit. That one can go. This one can go. And we'll have these built up. A little bit further apart, but... Than I was really hoping for, but it'll do. There we go. Doesn't look quite right, does it? Somehow. I guess we can have a flimsy wooden one. Every now and then. There we go. That'll work, I think. Elf tea made by elves. For elves. Out of elves. Coming to your dwarven fortress soon. <laughs> Camel spider. So true. So true. We're going to need one of you there. And then, sure, another one. We'll have this one also supported from a long way down. It's fine. Now over here, though, I want another flimsy support. Dunk. And then it'll just have to be the flimsy supports there. It's not the best, but it'll do. 
Or maybe I can... Would this look right? Sort of. Sort of not terrible. Not far amazing either, but sort of not terrible. Um... At that point, though, it feels like I, sh I shouldn't have any kind of support there at all. Hmm. I wish there were there were more options when it came to these stone supports, but... Make it look like it could actually bear a load. I think we're going to have to get rid of that tree as well. I'll just accept it. Though if, I, if I'm doing that, I can get away with a little bit more. And we can have these back there. There we are. I think it's starting to look a bit better now. There we go. I would feel somewhat secure moving up such a such a such a road. Precarious though, uh, it may look from the outside. But no, it's fine. Right, I want this one to be for pickaxes. We've almost got a full barn of pickaxes, which is great. Now I just need. A card. I, I, I'm starting to get the feeling that we're never actually going to sell pickaxes, though. Unfortunately. It's just going to be a, a thing that happens. Now that said, you know, at some point we'll get to the stage where we're replenishing these faster than, uh, than we need to worry about. So uh, that won't be too bad. Oh, goodness. Do I get ahead by watching the stream or wait for the YouTube VODs and not ruin my continuity? Well, if you're up to date with today's YouTube VOD, then you're up to date completely. Um, though, obviously, if you've missed the first hour of the stream, then you're about an hour behind. We haven't done too much. We've basically set up pickaxe manufacture and enhanced our production of iron ingots. On that note, I want to hook that up to Steam if I can. Oh, I can't hook up that one to Steam. Why? Why does this forge not allow Steam? Hmm. How come this forge can handle it? But this forge cannot. It must be that it's not on the floor, yeah. That would explain why these kitchens can't have steam. Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks enormously. So that's the only reason that these kitchens aren't, haven't got steam. Well. Plop. Also, we've reached a critical mass. And we don't need as many workers in these areas. I would say. And that is super annoying. Have I tried piping it above ground? No, uh, that's a good call, actually. Yeah, I might be able to do that. Perhaps I would be able to connect it with an up above ground pipe. Let's have a look if uh, that works. Actually, let's... Uh... Okay, it connects in there. Let's get rid of the bottom one. Get rid of this one. I mean, it's got a connector. Whether it... Oh, it it seems that it matters. Huh. I'm wondering if I can connect it from this building. Because if I can, then that is amazing. And suddenly Steam is so much more awesome than it was before. Uh, actually, let's 3D connect it in a bit of a more um, pleasing way. It's almost like I, I had this part of the Steam Network there intentionally. I did not, but... Oh! Science! Fantastic Steam science as well! 
It's the second best kind of science. This is glorious. You'd have to place the uh, steam. Uh, uh, chat mentions you have to place the steam connector um, on the ground, and then have the steam pipe coming out of the ground. But it doesn't look like that's the case. You can you can daisy chain buildings, and that's just amazing. This is truly fantastic. Truly, Smacky D, thank you so much for the five months, mate. I got my prime working. Yay for dapper emotes. <laughs> Enjoy your dapper emotes, mate. Please. I, I I really like them. And I like it when other people enjoy them. <laughs> Gives my life a sense of purpose. Uh, right. That is fantastic. I am really liking that. As you can probably tell. Uh, we do. I am worried about our population, though. Mm. Not super great. Let's have a look at our, our money. Search. Blue coins are doing great. Generally speaking, I would say that our yellow coins are doing all right. Very slightly. Red coins, though. They're going down. Slowly, but it's happening. Now, eventually, we'll saturate the pickaxes. And then we'll get more sent down there. But will that happen in time is a pretty big question. And I don't know the answer to it. Let's get more plates being made. There we go. Ah, we've uh, saturated the barn now. Excellent work. So that means we are saturating the production of um, reinforced planks. That's super good. Okay, so now it comes down to the speed that I can make the pickaxes, which isn't very fast, unfortunately. But we are now making the pickaxes as fast as we can make them. And once this backs up, we'll stop mining quite as aggressively. And so the pickaxes won't be as necessary. Okay, this this may work. This may work. Um, that being said, at that point, I'm not sure that we need pickaxes. So I'm... For the time being, we've set up the supply. I'm going to take pickaxes off the list. I really do want to see if we can make this work. Oh, there's a pickaxe. It's being delivered. Hooray. The first of many. It's going to stand there now and just wait. That's okay. Okay by me. Um, let's have a look. Right, we're through four of them. But again, they do replenish reasonably fast. And if... They replenish, like, a node this large replenishes fast enough that by the time that you're looking to mine over here, the first one is replenished, then we've really got not got a problem. I think the pickaxes might be for cases where you've got a very, very small node. Very, very small. And right now, we don't. So, I think the pickaxe would be better to use tapping into this node, honestly. Though I am a little bit concerned about the... Uh, Prances of uh, coal and iron over here. I may need to also siphon off from these um, silos to supply this. We'll see how that one goes. But for the time being, seems good. Getting pickaxes slowly filling. And eventually they'll start filling this one as well. And then, good times. Hello, Great Sean. All right. Now then, with all of that done, um, we have got other options for red coins, and this is my my primary concern right now. I think getting the uh, leather over here to make cloaks instead of making shirts is a better option. So, with that in mind, let's set you up to produce instead of shirts. Let's take that off the uh, the list. We'll let the shirts get drawn out, and we're going to switch it over to cloaks. So let's get cloaks delivered, please, and thank you. Oh, yeah. We're going to want a decent amount of uh, leather being supplied, so I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to get a caravan for this one. 
Don't you there. I would like you to move leather all the way to this place. Chop, chop. Dunk. And carry quite a load of leather. Now, using a caravan over a wagon, it depends on the, on the throughput you need. A wagon is one worker. A caravan is two. But a caravan can carry the, the equivalent of four wagons. And it can also carry different things, uh, for that matter. So, you know, there's a lot of usefulness there. Uh, please switch this to cloaks. There we are. Dump. We should get a chunky bit more money for that. The shirts are only worth eight. The cloaks are worth 20. And they use the same amount of cloth. So that may, by itself, fix our red coin problem. Uh, let's go and have a look in here. Though shirts could also be supplied. Ah. We could do shirts and cloaks if we wanted to. Since they uh, satisfy different needs. Hmm. They satisfy different needs. We'll see. Are we going to just be stockpiling? We are actually going to be stockpiling. So, okay. We've already made all of the cloaks that we can, so sure, go ahead and make the, the shirts and then make the cloaks when we have leather available. Uh, to facilitate this, we're going to need to change a couple of things up. Namely, going to need to swap these over. Womp, womp. And then we're going to need the wooden arches. Then going to need a grabber. This one specifically for shirts. And since the uh, throughput here is not particularly high, we can just have that. There we go. So now we're delivering both shirts and cloaks. And between the two of them, because we're, we're massively overproducing cloth, that should be all we need. I could, if all of the, you know, things are, uh, are done, I could just deliver the cloth. But, oh, well, actually, no. No, the shirts are the better one because they, the cloth is there. Uh, alternatively, I could deliver nails as well. But the nails are used to make the uh, reinforced planks and so on and so forth, so I'd rather not. Because um, right now, well, we, we've actually backlogged our production of, of iron plates, so maybe, maybe it would be worth doing. We'll have to see. Now, once again, let's have a look at the mining overlay. I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm spending so much time just double-checking this over and over and over, but uh, I, this is very new to me, so I am not yet confident in the way that that will function. But it seems that we've got plenty of, uh, of iron picks there, and we're just waiting. Okay, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy. Hi, Spa, how are you doing? I mean, yeah, I kind of feel bad, but also not bad about the fact that the uh, raid I sent Ike's way resulted in, in him hitting his bit goal. That, uh, I mean, he, he's all, ah, oh, I don't want to do this. Then why did you set it as a goal? Come on now. No one hates, hates the player or the game. Well, you got to admit you're playing it. That was a ridiculously high bit goal. I, I think the, I think it is fair to say that uh, while Ica doesn't want to eat wet cat food, he does quite like the amount of money that's involved in getting him to do it. And uh, yeah, I I think it's 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 reasonable to say he did not expect that in a month that that goal would be hit. It was kind of a fun thing to do, but. Uh, I don't think there's any part of him that's like, oh no, this is so terrible. Ah, <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna be crying all the way to my bank as I'm eating my cat food. But yeah, I, I am, I'm, I, I am sorry, not sorry that the raid I sent his way ended up pushing him over that uh, that goal threshold. And now he has to eat my cat food. We'll see what his next goal is gonna be. Do not on the twenty seventh. I, I, I will literally put that in my calendar. Yeah, no one will ever manage to donate 100,000 bits in a month. <laughs> oh, Ike. 
Have you met the Dapplings? Do you know how generous they are? Do you know how cruel they are? Generosity and cruelty, they are sides of the same coin for the Dapplings. They can be generous and cruel at the same time, and that's efficiency. Uh, right. You know what? Because this doesn't... Uh, like, I, I dislike the idea of this just kind of being up there and no one can get there, especially because I've got workers in there. Make them a little, little path. It's never going to get used, but it'll make me feel better. The town will start looking more like an actual town. And that makes me happy. But since it's never going to be used by any um, stairs, uh, but any wagon, sorry, we'll use stairs blocks. There we go. So the miners, when they're done with their shift in the mine, can go over to the forge. <laughs> How much for me to eat, Cafford? <laughs> no. 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 No, I'm one of these silly people that doesn't value money above his dignity. <laughs> call me call me old-fashioned, if you will. <laughs> no. I would 100% eat cat food if I was starving. I'd eat people if I was starving. It's not an issue with what, what I'm willing to eat. It's what I'm willing to eat it for <laughs> is the difference. I would have no problem with cannibalism if I was starving. Or any other thing that I thought I could derive nutrients from. <laughs> you know, people give big grills a, a hard time. It's like, if, if I was in a survival situation, I would drink whatever I had available that I didn't think was going to kill me faster than not drinking. And uh, same with food. But when it comes to, haha, will you do this for money? No. <laughs> I'm not a monkey. You cannot stand there and throw treats. At okay, well, yeah, I mean, it depends on the treats. I mean, yeah. yeah. All right, everyone has their price, okay? I'm just saying my price is a little bit more than a thousand pounds. Everyone has a price. If the amount of money that there's on offer would mean that I could just like wipe out all of my family's debt and make it sure that my brother would never have to worry about, you know, anything ever again and that my parents could have a wonderful life for the rest of their days, however long they might be, I might even be able to extend them, then okay, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd sacrifice my dignity on the on the altar of familial love, but just for money for me, nah, there's, there's not a price in the universe high enough for me because I don't care about money. Money's just a fake thing people made up. I mean, really is fake at this point. It's like, ah, yeah, this money's worth this much. Why? Because. Why, though? But I, I mean, gold, but it's not based on gold anymore. So why is the money worth that much? I, 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 shut up! Or we'll send the banking overlords. And it's like, okay, I'm sorry. No one messes with the banks. As, as much bravado as they might offer, I wouldn't mess with the banks. But it is fake money. Oh, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. I said money. I said nothing about tea. Everything is on the table for tea. I'm just talking about money now. Come on. Money, tea. They're, they're completely different things. Unless it's a tea-based economy, which I think is heavenly. And there is nothing wrong with a tea-based economy. If only there was one. There was once. But it's kind of gone now. Such a shame. The perfect economy, in my opinion. Right, how is the... Okay, good. I'm glad to see that the cookfish is backed up again. That means that we're probably good with uh, the adjustments that we made down here for our um, houses in terms of the amount of uh, extra mouths that we're to feed. But we do need more houses now. We are actually at a bit of a problem. So let's clear up some room to drop down some money. Uh, so to drop down some house. Damn it, you're making me think about money. But uh, <laughs> sorry about my, my rant about money there. I know I get a bit, a bit preachy when it comes to that sort of stuff. <laughs> I just, I just find it ridiculous that that so much, so much uh, time is given to something that is ultimately completely make believe at this stage. It's like when, when, when the depression hit, when the banking crisis. It's like, did anything actually fail? Did a tanker full of some riches sink to the bottom? Did crops fail in some part of the world? Did anything tangible actually change? 
Or is this just a made up bunch of zeros changed on a computer somewhere? Because I'm feeling some real tangible effects of this banking crisis, but I'm just, I'm dubious as to the reality of it. There we go, we'll get all of these all the way upgraded to five. Now that is going to introduce a, a little bit of a, a run on some resources because we just used a lot of building resources. But uh, it shouldn't be too bad. A tanker full of computer, full, computers full of zeros sank. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Lady Shop, you all hear it here. Avak doesn't want money. Give it to me instead. <laughs> Ah, sure. Give it to Sheila. She deserves it. She works very, very hard. And if money would make her happy, then that is good enough reason to give her money. Me, though, honestly, there's a part of me that, that gets less happy the more, more money I have without a reason to have it. There we go. Let's get all of that in place. Donk. That just actually looks quite nice. I'm now kind of feeling like, oh, why haven't I got roads like that everywhere? But at this point, it would be kind of difficult to do. But I could do that, and my uh, caravans, at the very least, can enjoy it. There we go. Yeah, look at that caravan go. Wow. All right. I'll take that all the way down to the barn, in fact. But yes, money preaching is over. You can come out come out now. You don't need to, to, to shelter any longer. <laughs> Sheila, Avak, money wouldn't make me happy. Shoes and chocolate would make me happy, though. I am a simple creature. Oh, bless you. Sheila is wonderful. Wonderfully honest. 